The Science of Being Well by Wallace D. Wattle. Chapter 10 continued, That great intelligence, which is in all and through all, has in reality practically settled the question as to what we shall eat. In ordering the affairs of nature, it has decided that man's food shall be according to the zone in which he lives. In the frigid regions of the far north, fuel foods are required. The development of brain is not large, nor is the life severe in its labor tax on muscle, and so the Eskimo live largely on the blubber and fat of aquatic animals. No other diet is possible to them. They could not get fruits, nuts, or vegetables even if they were disposed to eat them, and they could not live on them in that climate if they could get them. So notwithstanding the arguments of the vegetarians, the Eskimo will continue to live on animal fats. On the other hand, as we come toward the tropics, we find fuel foods less required, and we find the people naturally inclining toward a vegetarian diet. Millions live on rice and fruits, and the food regimen of an Eskimo village, if followed upon the equator, would result in a speedy death. A natural diet for the equatorial regions would be very far from being a natural diet near the North Pole, and the people of either zone, if not interfered with by medical or dietary scientists, will be guided by the all-intelligence which seeks the fullest life in all to feed themselves in the best way for the promotion of perfect health. In general, you can see that God, working in nature and in the evolution of human society and customs, has answered your question as to what you shall eat, and I advise you to take his answer in preference to that of any man. In the temperate zone, the largest demands are made on man in spirit, mind, and body, and here we find the greatest variety of food provided by nature. And it is really quite useless and superfluous to theorize on the question what the masses shall eat, for they have no choice. They must eat the foods which are staple products of the zone in which they live. It is impossible to supply all the people with a nut and fruit or raw food diet, and the fact that it is impossible is proof positive that these are not the foods intended by nature, for nature, being formed for the advancement of life, has not made the obtaining of the means of life an impossibility. So I say the question, what shall I eat, has been answered for you. Eat wheat, corn, rye, oats, barley, buckwheat, eat vegetables, eat meats, eat fruits, eat the things that are eaten by the masses of the people around the world, for in this matter the voice of the people is the voice of God. They have been led, generally, to the selection of certain foods, and they have been led, generally, to prepare these foods in generally the same ways. And you may depend upon it that, in general, they have the right foods and are preparing them in the right way. In these matters, the race has been under the guidance of God. The list of foods in common use is a long one, and you must select therefrom according to your individual taste. If you do, you will find that you have an infallible guide, as shown in the next two chapters. If you do not eat until you have earned hunger, you will not find your taste demanding unnatural and unhealthy foods. The woodchopper who has swung his axe continuously from seven in the morning until noon does not come in clamoring for cream puffs and confectionery. He wants pork and beans, or beefsteak and potatoes, or cornbread and cabbage. He asks for the plain solids. Do you agree or disagree with the author? Have you enjoyed this video? Can you tell I'm reading it without my teeth then? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed it, your friends may enjoy it as well. Let them know about it by liking and sharing this video as it helps grow the family. And as always, to be sure you never miss one of these videos, please click the subscribe button. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.